one thing you learn from working on the ground in conflict zones and in disasters is that most people are inherently good. In my work with uh, girls who had been captured and forced into fighting groups um, in northern Uganda, I had the opportunity to meet a young woman who during a firefight between the rebel group she had been captive in and the government army, she escaped and she had taken her own child with her, um, but she had also grabbed her co-wife's children. So she was there when I met her with three children and the, she and her co-wife, this other captive had agreed that if either of them ever got an opportunity to escape, that they would take the other's children. And so I asked her, you know, she's now back into a very impoverished area, which is totally war affected. And I asked her, well, what will happen with these children now? She said, well, I will raise them as my own. You know, I've been invited into people's homes where the only thing they have in their home, um, in maybe a mud home, is a piece of plastic. And they will smooth the plastic very smooth, like a piece of rubbish, um, so that I have a clean place to sit when I come down. They may have one button on their shirt and it's buttoned. They, they, they treat themselves with dignity. Um, they have a deep humanity. They do not give up and they continue working with their families and their neighbors to, to do the best they can.